If you own a Beretta A300 Altima, or if you consider buying one, this video is for you. So the A300 Altima was released this past June. In fact, we were at the event that they made the announcement at. It was DUX down at Texas Motor Speedway. I was super excited to get my hands on an Altima. I shot a little bit that weekend, but I wanted to review one. So as soon as Reed's, my favorite sporting good retailer, got the Altima in, I picked one up ASAP and was among the first to do a review on the shotgun. Just prior to getting in the Altima, I did a review on the Outlander. And it was a nice gun at a great price point, but there's some things I didn't like about it. When I saw the Altima, it looked like it solved many of the things I didn't like about the Outlander. So I was super stoked. Got this gun in, did a full shotgun review. You can check that out right up here if you wanna learn more about that. I even did a shotgun showdown where it was the Altima versus the Winchester SX4, which I have shot for years and years and loved for a long time, and I chose the Ultima over the SX4. But if you wanna see that full showdown, I'll put that over here as well. You can check out that showdown. But then one day I was out with some friends shooting a variety of shotguns. One of my buddies said, pull. He shoots. He calls pull again. He's not able to pull the trigger. Well, what in the world? So I pick up the gun thinking, my friends don't know anything. They're obviously messing up. Pull. Nothing's happening with the trigger. And then the trigger clicks and pops forward. Boom. Now it shoots. Well, what in the world? So through playing with the gun a little bit, doing some shooting, often the trouble we were having with the trigger on this gun is pull. You would shoot a shot, let off the trigger, and it would not reset. So normally, when the bolt resets, right? I was holding that trigger down the whole time. I'm gonna let off. Did you hear that click? That was the trigger resetting. So the bolt's gonna come back and reset the hammer and it should reset the trigger at the same time. But for some reason, the trigger wasn't coming forward and resetting. Had that issue over and over. And then I made a video about was I wrong? Was I wrong to choose the Ultima over the SX4? I think I did a poor job explaining what my actual issue was and I hadn't fixed it yet. Now I've fixed it, so I'm gonna go through what my fix was and what you can do about it and help you make an informed decision going forward with the Ultima. In addition to me having issues, I started to see a lot of comments on my A300 Ultima review video and Shotgun Showdown about people having issues with their triggers as well. So I realized I wasn't alone. There's lots of other people having issues. Now, if you have an A300 Ultima, I'm also getting comments about people that have no issues. So if you're one of them, congratulations. I'm glad you have no issues. But I figured since so many people were having issues, I would try to figure out what the problem was and see if I could help people that may be having the same problem. So I actually went on Beretta's website. I submitted a request for customer service saying I was having issues with this shotgun. And here we are about two weeks later, I still haven't heard from them. But in the meantime, since I'm pretty impatient, I didn't want to wait for Beretta to fix my gun. I really didn't want to ship it to Beretta because it's going to be six to eight weeks once they get it. I'm going to have to get a box. I'm going to have to run to UPS. I'm going to have to ship it. And I'll, just, it's a hassle. I don't want to go through it. So actually, just last week, my brother was over and he pulls out the trigger and we start to look at it. And as we look at this trigger, when I pull it, the hammer comes forward, right? Connected to the hammer, there are two metal struts that attach. I actually have an extra hammer right here too. These metal struts, if you can see here, these metal struts have holes that go over those little round pieces there. Right? So those metal struts ride on the hammer as it goes back and forth. What we determined just through observing is that as the hammer was coming back, those struts were not moving in conjunction. They weren't moving simultaneously or the exact same, which was creating some tension in the backside of the trigger here, which we figured was actually causing some issue with the trigger resetting. But that was just a hypothesis at that point. As I'm wondering if Bretta's ever gonna get back to me, reply to my email, I just go online and I look for a replacement hammer for the A300 trigger group. The reason I thought it was the hammer was just looking at it with my naked eye, you're not gonna see this on the video, but looking at it with my naked eye, it appeared that it was a little torqued, just not true. So I thought, 
what's a hammer gonna cost? So I go online, search for one quick, Midwest Gunworks has a hammer. I purchase one all in, including tax and shipping. We're at like $22, right? So I thought, let's at least try that. In the meantime, what I do is I take the trigger group out of my A300 Outlander. I compare the two, and it appears they are the exact same, based on what I saw anyways. So I threw my Outlander trigger group in the A300 Ultima, went and shot a box of shells, zero issue. As I looked at the two, I noticed that the struts traveled differently on the Outlander, right? They didn't have that same issue. So I got my new hammer in from Midwest Gunworks. I quickly replaced it on the trigger group, threw it back in the Ultima. Now here we are, and it works just fine. I went and put a box of shells through the gun to see how it works, and I didn't have a single issue with the trigger resetting. In fact, I could get the Ultima before replacing the hammer to not reset the trigger, simply by squeezing the trigger, resetting the bolt, and then letting off. Hear how that clicked? The trigger reset. Often when I was doing that before I replaced the hammer, the trigger was not resetting. So it appears that I have fixed my issue. Let's put a few more rounds down range to make sure. Got the new hammer in. Trigger group should be fixed. Let's test it out. The fastest 25 shots. Let's go. Safety works too. Woohoo! Oh, it feels good to be shooting this beautiful Minnesota weather here. We're having in December. It's a beaut, Clark. It's a beaut. Okay, that's been some rapid fire. Let's. Trigger's resetting just fine. What I'm doing here is I'm actually holding the trigger down, holding it, letting off. Click and reset. We're shooting just fine. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. She's running well. Let's try a little over the head action. Oh, yeah. Last one. Here we go. Seems to be running pretty dang good. I'm doing well. My problem solved. It didn't take six to eight weeks. I didn't have to ship it to Breda. But here's the question. If you have an Ultima and you're having trigger issues, what should you do about it? Well, I have a few suggestions. First, it would be really ideal if Beretta would fix it for you, right? You bought the gun. You shouldn't be having these issues. It would be nice if Beretta fixed it. Now, if you have the time luxury to send it into Beretta and you're okay dealing with those hassles of sending it in, or if you really don't feel confident in trying to replace some parts, then I'm strongly gonna urge you just to send it to Breda and let them deal with it. But keep in mind, it may be a while before you get your gun back. I know, that really sucks. I emailed Beretta. I have not heard back from them. A little disappointed by that, but I've had comments on the channel about people that have called and emailed and they say they are much better at responding to calls than they are emails. Just before making this video, I went to Breda's website again, looked at their customer service landing page on their website, and I found a notice. And this is what it says. You may have noticed that we've been experiencing some technical issues and downtimes with our customer service phone lines. We're upgrading our phone systems and training new technical support agents to better serve our most valued customers. We are actively working to resolve customer support issues and have executed several recent fixes. For questions, contact our original Beretta customer service at 1-800-BERETTA. Select option four or contact us via email. For firearm support, text support at BerettaUSA.com. That is the two different methods you can go to try to get a hold of Beretta. I hope this updated info that they put out actually means better results than I've got because I've been a little disappointed and I know a lot of others have been as well. So option number two is that you actually fix it yourself. Now, I can't guarantee that if you're having trigger issues, simply replacing the hammer is going to be your absolute fix, right? It could be something else with your trigger. So I can't guarantee that, but it's very simple to pop the trigger out. Y'all probably know how to do that. 
But just in case you don't, you got one pin. We'll just punch it out. Boom, trigger group is out. How simple was that? Now, take your trigger group out and just start to look at it. Hold your thumb over the hammer, pull the trigger, work the hammer back and forth. Just see how things are operating. Are those metal struts binding on anything? When you come back, does the trigger reset? Just observe it. And if it looks like it might be a simple fix as replacing the hammer or maybe these struts, you can go ahead and try to tackle that yourself. To take the hammer out, it's actually really simple. On the right side of the trigger group, there's a pin. All you have to do is push that pin out. It's gonna pop off this metal piece here. But be careful because this metal piece here and a spring behind it will come flying out, right? But then it's pretty easy to remove the hammer, slide the new one in. It's kind of tricky to put back together, however, because you kind of have to finagle things, but you can get it back in. It goes together fairly simple with a little bit of patience and that might fix your issue. Again, I'm not gonna promise you that that's 100% what's wrong, but it did fix my issue, so that's an option as well. You could also just replace the whole trigger group. I've looked these up online, about $120 for the trigger group. Availability looks like they're pretty tough to find, but if you find one, could easily swap one in for 120 bucks. Potential option, but $120 is a lot of money for a gun you recently purchased that is only in that $800 MSRP range. So that would be totally up to you, but that's an option as well. Now, what if you were considering the Ultima? You watched my review, you saw the showdown, you're thinking, I love Beretta, that's my next gun. Would I still recommend it? That's tough. That's a really tough question. Here's what I would say. One, wait until you know that Beretta has all of these issues fixed. When will that be? Nobody really knows, and I doubt that Beretta will come out and say, hey world, we fixed it, go ahead and buy them again. So it's sort of a risk to go out and buy an Ultima, not knowing if it's been fixed. Now, if you wait a year or so, more than likely it will be fixed, you can buy one then, if you wanna wait. Option number two, go ahead and buy the Ultima, roll the dice, maybe you won't have any issues, you could certainly try that. Third option, and probably my favorite option, buy an alternate gun buy something different. Now I did compare the Ultima here to the Winchester SX4. Both I enjoyed a lot. The SX4 I've shot hundreds of thousands of rounds through. I know that it works. And in all fairness, the SX4 had an issue when it came out. So when the SX4 came out, people were having issues when they're out shooting with a bolt handle just flying out. And it was a hassle because you couldn't just replace the bolt handle. The issue wasn't with the bolt handle, it was with the bolt. So people had to send their guns into Winchester, get them fixed, and eventually Winchester resolved the issue and their next batches coming out were all fixed. But nonetheless, a lot of times gun manufacturers will not have it perfected before they release. Frustrating, I know, right? So that being said, the Winchester SX4 is a great alternative in a similar price point to the Altima. Go ahead and watch my shotgun showdown. You'll see the guns side by side. I think you would enjoy either gun, probably, but with the issues going on right now with the Altima, the customer support, I gotta say the safer bet is going the Winchester SX4 route. Not to mention, one of the reasons I picked the Altima is because in a side-by-side -side comparison, I actually shot it faster, which is highly encouraging because this was a brand new gun to me, but I've since taken out my SX4 and shot a whole lot faster. In fact, I shot a 1.05. So those are a few of your options there. Well guys, I hope you enjoy this video. I hope it gave you some insight into the issues that a lot of folks are having with the trigger and what to do about it. If there's any other topics you'd love to see me cover pertaining to shotguns, put them down in the comments below. If you wanna see some more shotgun showdowns, just let me know as well. And remember, whether you're in the field or in life, it's only those shots that you're laser focused on that you're gonna hit. So live target focused. See ya.